I'm going to test uh, the battery life uh, of the SJ Cam battery versus the GitHub uh, battery. Uh, both uh, batteries are almost new, they have around uh, full uh, 10 uh, complete cycles of uh, charging discharging. I'm gonna take them uh, out of the cameras. There's a small difference between uh, them, just of uh, 50 milliamps hour. One has uh, 950, the other one has uh, 900 milliamps. This is the SJ Cam battery and uh, the GitHub battery. They have uh, almost the same size. The GitHub battery is a bit wider. Uh, first, I'm going to fully charge them in a dual charger, so both battery will have the same uh, state of charge. So uh, they were previously charged, so this will not uh, take very long, but I'm going to wait for both of them to be full. In the meantime, I'm going to show you the rest of the tools I'm going to use in this uh, test. I'm gonna use a uh, IMAX B6 uh, uh, LiPo charger and uh, its uh, additional cables. Also, I'm going to use some uh, connection cables to make uh, contact between the battery and uh, the charger uh, cables and uh, a power supply for the IMAX. So first, I'm going to wait for these two to be fully charged. The SJ Cam battery is uh, fully charged while the GitHub battery is still uh, charging. I'm going to take this out of the charger and I'm going to connect it to these uh, wires. Uh, the battery has uh, two connectors, the plus and the minus. I'm going to use the green wire and uh, jam it in the plus connector. I'm going to assure that it makes good contact. And I'm going to install the negative wire. I'm also going to jam it in. So the wires are connected to the battery. Now I'm going to connect this to the charger. And with the alligator clips, red goes to red. And black goes to black okay I'm going to power on the IMAX and going to zoom in a bit I'm going to select uh, the nickel cadmium battery program and I'm going to choose the discharge program because uh, on this program you can manually set the discharge current. I'm going to select uh, 0 0.5 amps. Uh, I don't uh, want to discharge the battery too fast or too slow. I'm going to use a power uh, which is similar to the power consumption of the camera and uh, on this program you can uh, select the voltage threshold to which the discharge will stop so I'm going to choose a safe value for lithium ion batteries which is uh, 3 volts so the charger will stop discharging the battery when uh, it falls to this uh, low voltage and I'm going to start the discharge progress checking the battery Okay, and the discharge has already started. You can see here the current, it's half of amp, and here is the voltage. And this is the energy counter. It's the actual um, uh, capacity that's uh, been used from the battery. So until now we have used two milliamps from the battery. 
so I'm going to leave this uh, on and we also have this timer and uh, we'll check it later when the voltage falls to 3 volts uh, you can also see that the voltage did not start from uh, uh, 4.2 volts which is normal for this kind of battery because all of the wiring used uh, makes a voltage drop and uh, uh, when you have uh, a high current the voltage drop will be higher so we have a medium current and a medium voltage drop so we'll use the same settings for the other battery just to see how the capacity varies between uh, the two of them after uh, 90 minutes the discharge procedure has stopped uh, we have uh, ending voltage of uh, 3.09 volts and uh, we have a total of uh, exactly 700 milliamps that uh, were uh, taken out of the battery uh, I'm gonna leave the same settings uh, in the charger I'm going to replace uh, the SJ battery with the git battery and uh, start the test all over again because the discharge of the SGA battery took uh, longer than uh, expected uh, this is actually a part 2 of the test and uh, I have uh, recharged the git uh, battery so I gonna continue the test using the same procedure I'm gonna hook up the wires to the battery I'm gonna connect the negative and the positive cable to the battery okay battery is hooked up and I'm gonna power on the IMAX charger I'm gonna zoom in for the settings I'm gonna select the same program MiCAD discharge 0.5 amps 3 volts discharge threshold so I'm gonna initialize the discharge okay so the discharge has uh, started you can see the current draw has already jumped to 0.5 amps this is the voltage battery and here we have the counter and the timer so I'm going to leave this uh, to run and come back later and see what uh, capacity we have uh, managed to draw from the battery one of the tests done uh, with the battery is over uh, this is the git battery and uh, you can see here the ending capacity it was uh, 780 milliamps hour and uh, it has uh, finished with uh, 3.09 volts and uh, the discharge time is here I must uh, tell you that uh, this, uh, this test was done with a lower discharge current of uh, 0.3 amps uh, it was not done with uh, 0.5 amps uh, I did extend the test uh, with uh, multiple SJ batteries and multiple GIT batteries also I have uh, tested with uh, various chargers like the simple one here the dual slot here and also I have uh, used the cameras to charge the batteries so I'm going to build a chart with uh, all the results uh, what uh, matters uh, the most in this test uh, it's uh, also the charger uh, these uh, are uh, low discharge batteries and also they do not uh, take uh, very well charging at uh, high amperage so actually what happens when uh, you charge this kind of battery too fast it will not uh, reach its uh, full capacity uh, the voltage will uh, spike to 4.2 uh, volts and a good charger like the IMAX will uh, stop uh, charging the battery uh, to protect it 
but uh, it will not uh, get uh, fully charged. If you charge it with a very slow uh, uh, current, like uh, 0.1 amp, uh, you can uh, have a greater capacity at the end of the charge, so you will have uh, a lot more runtime from the same battery. So that was very important, so I'm going also to add this factor to the final chart. It's a conclusion for the battery test.